Well, a little over a week ago, Governor DeSantis, who, by the way, in the straw poll at CPAC, while President Trump was far and away the most favored candidate for 2024 for president, Governor DeSantis came in second. And those of us who live in Florida can certainly understand why he's done such a great job with the response to the coronavirus. He stood up to an incredible amount of pressure from liberal interest groups and the media to do more than what he's done. He's refused to do more. He's, in fact, protected people from having to wear masks. He's kept businesses open. And we in Florida have done pretty well. And I made a joke kind of at the end of one of the last segments. I don't know if anybody caught the fact that I was joking. But if you remember, the Super Bowl with so many unmasked people was supposed to be a super spreader event. And guess what? That was, what, about a month ago? And guess what? It hasn't panned out like that, has it? Nobody, I mean, the media is so unbelievably liberal and they're so full of propaganda. They just push their agenda and they push and they push and they push. They never go back and check their math. They never go back and see if the story that they told you, which really ought to be called a story now because that's all it is. It's a narrative. They're narrative engineers. They're not reporters. They're telling you a story. They want to achieve something. So they tell you, oh, this is going to be a super spreader event. You remember the mayor of Tampa came out and held a press conference that we're going to have the police looking for these people who were in videos not wearing a mask? I mean, how dare they not wear a mask? This is going to be a terrible event for our community, a super spreader event. Well, guess what? The data haven't supported that. It has not been a super spreader event. The Super Bowl wasn't a super spreader event. But here they are again. They're saying the same thing about CPAC. The liberal media, they're reporting it over and over and over again. And remember, we tell you on the show, a lie told often enough becomes the truth. That's their mantra. And I think if they just keep repeating it, they just keep putting it out through the little telescreens with the images that hypnotize you. Frankly, if you just want to be honest with yourself, the videos and the sound together is a form of hypnosis. And it puts you into a beta state and you just receive the information. You just receive, 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 take it into your brain and you're being programmed. I mean, is there a reason they call it television programming? Because it's programming you. You're being programmed. Well, Governor DeSantis clearly has not accepted his programming. He has not been programmed and he's still willing to stand up for truth, stand up for freedom, stand up for common sense. So it's no wonder that he's running a a second, I would. I was going to say a close second, but it's really not a close second. But he's running second. He's far ahead of all the other potential challengers to President Donald Trump. And maybe, I think President Trump's probably going to have to pick a different vice president if he does run in 2024. I don't think he's going to pick Pence again. I mean, could you imagine that? I think Pence is done for. So if he's got to pick a vice president, I'd say Ron DeSantis might be a good choice if President Trump decides to run. But, you know, 2024 is a long time away. My prediction would be, as we sit here today, President Trump does not run in 2024. So I think we're going to need a new candidate to carry forward the America First agenda. I think Ron DeSantis and all of the growth that he's shown as a governor, he's really improved in his public speaking. You know, he's very snappy. Now, he's nowhere near as compelling as President Trump is. But like we say, President Trump had all that practice during all those years of being on TV with The Apprentice. Entertaining people. Entertaining people at the same time as trying to convey a message. So, yeah, is he better than Ron DeSantis? Yeah, right now he is. But I've seen a lot of improvement in Ron DeSantis, and I think we're only going to see more improvement from him over the next three years. And he's a scrapper. That's it. He's a fighter, just like President Trump. He's a fighter. And I I think that's what people want to see. And by gosh, if we don't have that, we're going to lose. We have to have a fighter. We can't have somebody who just wants to split the baby all the time with the Democrats because that's how they've been defeating the Republicans. That's the Mitch McConnell style to always split the difference. Well, we need somebody who will actually stand up for principles and say, no, there's right and wrong. There are moral absolutes. There just simply are. You can argue that everything's relative, but if you want to argue that, then there's absolutely nothing to ground anything to. There's no principle that stands on anything because everything's relative. And it can be just about what do you say offends you. Well, that offends me or that scares me. That hurts my feelings, and you can't say that. And now we're in the realm of the tyranny of people with easily hurt feelings, which is where we seem to be in today's world. Thank you for listening to The Morgan Streetman Show. 
We hope you enjoyed what you heard, and if you did, please click like and subscribe to help us out. And remember that we recommend that you exercise your brain at least once a week.